Hi, my name is Laura. Welcome to Gym Ra. Today we're going to do a routine that focuses on opening everything. <laughs> so we're just going to be expansive and stretch and take up space. So go ahead and start. Nice wide stance. Outer edges of the feet parallel. Hands to your hips. Firm up your legs. So draw your quadriceps up towards your hips. Lift your chest and hinge from your hips. Come on down. Forward fold. Bring your hands to the ground. And to start, just let your head hang. Let your neck relax. Anything you don't need from your week, from your day, from that last date you went on. <laughs> Anything you don't need, just let it fall off the crown of your head. And we're just making space today. Making space and using our space. All right. Press into your hands, come on all the way up. Crawl your hands over to your right foot. Place your back left knee down. So my toes are pointing towards the right side. Low lunge, hands up onto your thigh. Draw the pelvis forward, sit your hips down, and then stretch your arms up by your ears. So if you've been watching my videos, which I know you have, <laughs> this is one of my favorite stretches, right? It opens up the hip flexors and the quadriceps from sitting all day and driving and traffic. So just take one more breath here, lift your chest and reach those hips forward. Lower your hands, step your right foot back, okay. Lift your left arm up side plank. So you're gonna be facing me over here. <laughs> Lift those hips way up. Just hold here for another breath and then step your top foot on the ground in front of you. Okay, now press down through both of your feet. Lift your hips and take a big side stretch. Get really expansive here through the left side of your body. Lunges, stretch the waist, the lats. You can kind of explore moving forward, moving back. One more time, forward and back. Make sure your neck is happy. All right, lower your hands, step back to plank, and right back to all fours. Right foot steps forward again. So right back to the right foot forward. This time your right foot's outside your hands, okay? And you can stay here, reaching the chest forward. So we're looking for a stretch again through the hip flexor and the front of the thigh, inner right thigh and outer right hip, where we get tight and cranky in our hips. Now stay here or place your hand on your right thigh and just gently press that right knee, that right thigh open and away from you as you reach your chest out of the waist. So pull the chest forward. Take one more breath here. All right, place your hands back down and come back to that wide forward fold. So just curl your back toes under, lift your knee up, and wide forward fold again. Head and neck relax down. Once again, anything you don't need. So a conversation you had, something your boss said to you, something your mom said to you, whatever it is, just let it go. Let it fall off the crown of your head. Okay. Second side, crawl your hands over to the left side so they frame your front left foot. Place your back knee down, hands up onto the thigh, and stretch your arms up by your ears. Low lunge. Now as we draw the hips forward, I don't want you to just kind of let the ribs hang, right? So what I want you to do is pull your ribs up and in, pull your ribs back, and engage your abdominals. Right? So instead of letting everything kind of hang forward, draw the navel up and in as you lean the hips forward. Take an extra breath here. Really good. Lower your hands. Step back. Plank pose. Lift your knees. Side plank. Right arm up. So you're facing me again. Hips up. Just an extra breath or two here. I know side plank is not my favorite either. I have a whole list of poses that I don't love doing and side plank is definitely one of them. Top foot down, lift your hips up, stretch your right arm by your ear, big side stretch. Mm -hmm. You can kind of explore again forward and back, just opening up the side of the body. And again, just getting expansive, right? 
So as women, sometimes we want to be shy and curl away and get really small. So today we're going to practice just taking up space and expanding. It's good. Lower your hands, come back to plank. Lower the knees down. Step your left foot forward again. This time it's outside your left hand. Turn your toes out slightly. And all you're doing is leaning those hips forward, right, and reaching out through your chest. So once again, I don't want that rounding, hunching. We do that enough all day, right? So practice getting longer, getting taller. And maybe even looking straight ahead. So instead of letting your head hang and look down today, just stay nice and tall. Stay here or left hand onto the thigh and gently press that left knee, left thigh open and away from you. So it's said that we hang on to our emotions in our hips, right? So if we can just breathe into our hips, some nice deep breaths. All right, place your hands down, heel toe your foot back in a little bit. Curl your toes under and back to that wide forward fold facing me again. This time, turn your toes out. Come up onto your fingers, lengthen your spine, bend your knees and sit your hips way low. So sit down low, okay? Bring your hands to your inner thighs, widen out through your knees. So the knees are gonna wanna buckle in. It's really common for us girls to have the knees buckling in. So keep widening those knees out, right? And you can even just stay up a little higher and use your hands. The only thing I prefer not here, right? So once again, we spend enough time like that. So keep it really open, right? Expansive, opening. Okay. Now you can stay here or you bring those feet a little closer together and drop it like it's hot. <laughs> Get low, so tailbone down towards the ground. Widen your knees with your second and third toe. Broaden your collarbones and stay here for another breath or two. So this looks easy, right? But it took me like four or five years of yoga. Heels to the ground, finally. So just really be patient, right? Keep practicing, even if it's just 15 or 20 minutes a couple times a week, just keep coming back. It'll get better. All right, press down through those heels. Stand it all the way up. Bring your feet out a little bit wider for triangle pose. Stretch your arms out wide. Turn your right toes open and your left toes in slightly, okay? Now get really long, reach out, reach out. Remember, take up space, right? We don't wanna be down here. Take up space. Bring your hand to your shin, your ankle, or maybe all the way to the ground. Now I want lots of length through the sides of your body. So practice that really good posture. Broaden your collarbones, reach your chest out of the low back. Stay here or hands to the ground. Strong active legs. Draw the navel up and in. Okay, press down through your right foot. Use your strong obliques to come all the way up. Whew. Okay, switch your sides. Turn your left toes open, right toes in. Reach out, take up space. Stay really long, broad. Lower your hands to your ankle, your shin, or maybe if you have a yoga block, you can use that. Otherwise, just work with what you got. And again, take up space, right? Notice our little theme. We're getting big and expansive here. I'm getting comfortable with that. Letting it feel good. Strong active legs. Draw the navel up and in. Stay here or bring your hands to the ground. So this is hamstrings, hips. Definitely working the abdominals and the waist muscles. Back muscles are working, right? So our back's really weak when we're hunching and rounding. Stay here for another breath or two. Practice that good posture. Be proud. And press down through your feet, strong obliques, all the way up. Turn your toes in and just step or hop or make your way feet together. Okay, here we go. Turn and face the side. Sit your hips low, reach your arms forward. Chair pose, hold for five, four, three. You know we always have to do chair pose, always. <laughs> Bend your knees, maybe try not to use your hands and lower your butt to the ground for Navasana Boat Pose. Hold, lift your chest, stick your butt out a little bit to get a longer spine. Three, 
two, one, cross your legs, step to plank. Okay, step here. We're not here for long. We're gonna come onto the stomach, so just stay here for three more. Two more big breaths. Notice if you're dropping those hips, keep the hips up, draw the navel up and in. All right, lower all the way down. Okay, so this is in my book called Star Pose. Right, so bring your arms out wide. Get really big and take up space. Bring your legs out wide. Press down through your pubic bone, draw your navel up and in. So you're working your abdominals and lift your arms, lift your legs and hold. You should feel the glutes working, the shoulders, the back muscles. This is good. Three, two, Stay here, bring your feet back together, bend your elbows and lift your chest, hold for three, two, lower all the way down and rest. Bend your knees and just windshield wiper your legs side to side, just kind of even out the back. Right, so if you have low back pain, sometimes that's just our back muscles being weak. And also we tend to hunch forward, right? Especially us women as we get older, and by older, I mean over the age of 18. <laughs> Bend both of your knees, grab the outer edges of your feet or ankles, right? Hug your knees in and bow pose. Kick your feet back, lift your chest. Okay, breathe. And just work on expanding. So do your best, kick your shins behind you, lift your chest. Okay, slowly lower all the way down. Place your hands and just make your way up to downward facing dog, any old fashioned way. It's our first down dog, so if you wanna bend one knee at a time, move your hips around, you can lift one leg up, let it feel good, let it feel open. All right, bend both of your knees, crawl your hands all the way back towards your feet. Forward fold, we're here once again, so let anything you don't need Right, something someone said to you, something someone wrote to you. We don't want that to hold us back anymore, so just let it fall off the crown of your head. Bend your knees, bring your hands to your thighs, and press yourself all the way up. Whew. All right, big wide stance again. Got to work that big wide stance. Arms out. Turn your right toes open, and your left toes turn in. Bend your right knee. Side angle pose. Today we're just gonna bring the forearm to the thigh, stretch your left arm all the way up towards the sky. Now turn your palm to face behind you, so your thumb's pointing towards your feet. Bring your hand behind your back, okay? So open the chest, broaden the collarbones. Right? Open the shoulders. We're working on hip opening here and really getting those shoulders to open. You can stay here or reach and find your inner thigh. Bend your knee. Spin your right ribs open to the left. Draw your navel up and in. Look down. Release. Step to all fours. Step to all fours. Okay? From here. Lift your left arm up and your left leg. Right? So it's kind of in a side plank. Lift your left leg all the way up. Bend your knee so your heel is right behind your butt, not down here, right? Keep this hip lifted. Reach back and find your foot. Just like you did in bow pose just a second ago on your stomach. Now instead of kicking your foot up and letting those hips sink down, I want you to kick your foot back. Open the chest. What are we getting? Expansive big and open, taking up space. Sometimes that's uncomfortable, but we just breathe into it and know that it's all good, it's all good. Slowly, carefully release your leg, stretch your arm up, take a big side stretch, reach. Okay, lower your hands back down. Step your right foot forward again. Place your hands on your thigh. Lift the back knee up this time. Come right back into side angle pose. You were just here. Left arm up, bend your knee. Okay. Look down, 
We're gonna take up lots of space here in half moon. Place your right hand on the ground and lift your left leg up, okay? Get long through the sides of your body like you did in triangle pose. And it's helpful to look down at the ground for balance. Now if your hand's right in front of your foot, you're gonna get kind of small and cramped up through your right side, right? So bring that right hand a little further forward so you can reach out through the chest. Draw your navel up and in for three, two, bend your right knee, lower your foot, stand it all the way up. Time for the second side. Turn your left toes open and your right toes in. Bend your left knee, side angle, forearm to thigh, and reach your right arm straight up towards the sky. Okay, spin your palm back, thumb points towards your foot, bend your elbow and reach your hand behind your back. And just breathe here for a bit, right? So again, sometimes you want to get really small and shy away, right? I know I feel that way after a bad date. Oh, but you just keep working on opening, right? And it feels good. It feels good to just open and use that space. Stay here or reach inside and grab that inner thigh. I always joke in my classes, everything in yoga relates back to dating. <laughs> everything. <laughs> Slowly release the hands, place your hands down and step to all fours. Okay, find your balance here. Lift your right arm up, stretch your right leg straight. So you're still facing me, okay? Lift your top leg. And first, just squeeze your heel towards your butt. So practice just kind of slowing down, taking it step by step, right? It's hard when we're so busy and running around all the time. Bend your knee, find your foot, okay? Now I want your heel right behind your bum. Once again, I don't want you sinking. I want to get it open. From here, kick your foot straight back. Kick it back, 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 back. Reach your chest out towards me. Broaden through your collarbones. Right, this is a heart opening pose. And the more you do these, right, the better they get. So if you're having trouble with the first couple times, you just keep coming back and practicing these videos. Slowly release, take a side stretch over to the right. So once again, slow in our transitions. Working on slowing down. Okay. Come back to all fours. Step your left foot, left foot again, forward. Curl the back toes under, hand up onto your thigh. Lift your back right knee up, right into side angle pose. So forearm to thigh and open those hips up, stretch your arm. Here we go, let's take up some space with half moon. Look down, place your hand on the ground and lift your right leg up. So this is a balancing pose and it is challenging. So if you fall, you get right back up. Right, just like in life, we fall, something happens. Just get right back up. Take a deep breath. Remember, lengthen the sides of your waist, draw the navel up and in, and stretch out, take up space. Bend your knee, lightly land your foot to the ground. Stand it all the way back up. Feels good to be on two feet again, right? All right, step it all the way forward. Bend your knees again for chair pose. Hold for five, four, maybe try reaching your arms up. Three, two, oh, forward fold. Relax it all the way down. Step right to down dog. Step right to down dog. Okay, just because I think these are fun and empowering, we're gonna try some donkey kicks here. So, straight strong arms. Shoulders down the back, crawl your feet a little further forward. Look forward out on the ground in front of you. So remember, don't look down, right? Look forward out on the ground in front of you. Bend your knees and kick your heels up towards your butt. Do it again. Bend your knees, look forward, straight strong arms. Squeeze your knees in towards your chest, land down with knees bent. Here we go, let's try five more. Up and down and four and down. Arms straight and strong, look forward. Three, and down, two, and down. Draw your navel up and in, you've got one more. Up, maybe find a little hang time, and down, child's pose. <laughs> so you gotta channel your inner 
12 year old there to think that's fun, right? <laughs> Let your forehead rest down. And just know that the first time you try these things, it's probably not gonna be perfect. And that's good, that means we have room to grow and something to work on and a good challenge. Okay, lay it onto your back. One more big pose here before we cool it down. Arms by your side for bridge pose. Chin off your chest, crawl your shoulders underneath you and lift those hips up, bridge. Now in this one, I don't care how high your hips get so much, as I want you to crawl your shoulders underneath you, maybe interlace your fingers and puff your chest up towards your chin. I think my shoulders just cracked in like three places. <laughs> chin off the chest, the long neck. Puff, puff, puff the chest. Ooh, okay, lower all the way down and rest. Just let your knees go right to left, right to left. Okay, now, you're going to repeat that, or if you'd like to try wheel pose. Okay, this is a, this is a big one, and, and once again, you just keep practicing, just keep trying. Place your hands by your ears, so your fingers point towards your feet. Hug your elbows in a little bit and press your shoulders down towards the ground. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, press down through your hands and feet and push up onto the top of your head. Roll towards your forehead and breathe. This might be where you stay today, or you might try it and be like, okay, I'm gonna go back to bridge pose and stay there. Maybe, take a deep breath, plug those shoulders back and down towards your hips, and lift up, wheel. You can crawl the feet in, you can come up onto your tiptoes, puff up through your chest, now these are hard. This backbending is has always been the hardest for me, right? It's this like heart opening, opening the front of the body. Slowly lower all the way down. One more time, arms by your side. Just let those knees kind of wobble side to side. Clear out the back. I think my hair is looking really awesome right now after all that. <laughs> Here we go. Hug your knees in towards your chest. And do a couple rocks forward and back, forward and back, forward and back. Give that spine a little massage. And all the way up. Turn to face me. One more big, wide, expansive stretch. Toes up towards the sky. Knees up towards the sky. Lift your chest. Just get tall here for a second. Now you might stay here or start to reach those hands forward. Any amount. Stay here or hinge forward a little bit more. Crawl the hands forward. Now we're only gonna stay here for three more breaths. It's really good to do some more relaxing yoga, so maybe go check out my relaxation video or yoga for runners would be another really good one. So if you have time, check out one of those. It'd be a good balance to get some more stretching. And then take a nice shavasana. I'm trusting you to do that. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Namaste.